So one of the things I was excited about the most testing out the GH5 II was the Cinema 4K 420 10-bit at 60 frames per second. So with this video, I just put a couple montages, is that what they're called? Montages? Sequences? I put a couple sequences together in Cinema 4K, 10-bit, 420 at 60 frames per second. If you're new here, my name is Caleb and I do freelance video with the Panasonic GH5. According to my YouTube analytics, 80% of you watch my videos but have not hit that subscribe button. If you're part of that 80%, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So this first sequence is in Vlog L and I shot with the Leica 12 to 60 and I did use a variable ND and I set my white balance with this gray card right here. So on the color profile, I did not make any changes or any adjustments to, I think it's the sharpness and noise reduction. I just kept those at zero. I didn't make any changes to those. And since the sequence was in Vlog L, I didn't think you would wanna watch the whole sequence in Vlog L, so I did color grade, I got to a Rec. 709 using the Leaming LUT, and then I did color grade with my YouTube Punch LUT, which you can download for free down in the description. What have you been writing? Said I don't know. Now you built, you not share. Just so you have a reference point, here are a couple of the clips in Vlog L without any color grading. And they're not much to look at, but you can at least see what that Vlog L profile looks right out of camera. Now, of course, since I was shooting in 60 frames per second, I normally work in a 24 frames per second timeline. So I did modify all these clips to fit in a 23.98 frames per second timeline, which does slow these clips down, which actually adds kind of a nice, you know, slow motion effect to it. Now in this next sequence, I used the natural color profile, but again, it was Cinema 4K 420, 10 bit at 60 frames per second. But instead of using the 12 to 60, I used the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4. Now on the natural color profile, I did make some adjustments to the different settings. Now the saturation I had at minus one, the contrast at minus two, highlights I left at zeros, 
but sharpness I put down to minus five and noise reduction I left at zero. Now in both of these sequences, I did use the zebra stripes to get my exposure right. So in the last one, when I was using Vlog L, I had my zebra stripes set at 80%. And for the natural color profile, I had my zebra stripes set at 95%. So this sequence is kind of like, if you have like an establishing shot to kind of establish where a character is in a setting, well, this next sequence is basically all just made up of establishing shots. They spring a life that gives us light from on high. And with this natural color profile sequence, I did not do any color grading. All I did was add a little bit of an S curve, just corrected the white balance a little bit, added a little bit of vibrance, but I did not add any extra LUTs to it. So let me know what you think down in the comments about the Cinema 4K 420 10-bit at 60 frames per second. Thanks for checking out these test shots. That's really all I have for this video, but it'd be awesome if you have time, maybe stick around, watch one of these videos that's popping up on your screen right here. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.